In this video, we are going to talk about a small topic which is on how to handle connectivity changes. This is actually an updated version of one of my old video where I talk about how you can listen to connectivity changes using Alamo Fire and a custom listener. So this was the custom listener I had. So in Alamo Fire, I am using the Alamo Fire's network reachability manager to capture the network changes. And what I'm doing is I have created a connectivity manager, uh, a singleton object, uh, which has uh, a network connection status listener protocol and a network status did change function. So whenever uh, we get a not uh, we get notified from the network reachability manager that a connection has changed what we are doing is we are just broadcasting or we are notifying this listeners with that particular status so whoever is observing to this gets it and how the listeners are set up is used through this function so this con the connectivity manager has an array of listeners which is network connection status listener and whenever a change happens in the connection status we just loop through all the listeners and fire the network status did, did change uh, function with the current status so in this approach like obviously you have to manage your adding and removal of listener whoever is uh, listening to you typically view controllers so I just thought uh, to give a try with combine so that's what we are going to talk about here so this is the combine version so what I did was like I took the same connectivity manager and cleaned it up you no longer need a, a protocol or something like that so import combine uh, then make create a boolean which which is a published property and it says like whether it is connected or not and then the re network reachability manager of alamo fire stays the same we we can set up the reachability this is the reachability of alamo fire and listening and stop listening then you only have this function so whenever a status changes this function gets called with the respective status like unknown not reachable or etc so if it is unknown and not reachable i am just making the connection as false and if it is reachable via wi-fi or cellular i just mark the is connected value as true so whenever this changes the a notification will be fired so whoever subscribing to that can listen to that so here what i did was like i created a base view controller and here i am setting the connectivity subscribers so i am going to uh, subscribe to this is connected uh, value and whenever the value changes what i am doing is i am just updating the ui so that that way we do not need to manage the additional adding and removal of listener and since it is an any cancelable we get uh, we make sure that this gets removed and make sure you correctly use the weak or unknown uh, self inside the closure that's the core thing which you need to worry about now let's see that in action Okay, so now you have seen how it works. Uh, give it a try. So I would, I will add the source code in the description. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.